Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey. The S Store is full of awesome tools and assets to help you make your own games. There's more and more awesome stuff coming out every month, so in this video, let's check out some highlights for January 23. Even if you don't pick up any of these, it's still great to look at them to see if they inspire you to build something. Just watching some of these assets is enough to fire up my imagination. I can immediately picture all of the kinds of games that I could build. This one is a list of paid assets and effects. I've already made two videos covering the best free new assets and best tools and systems. As always, there's links to the assets in the description, and as a bonus, you can use the coupon code Monkey 10 to get 10% off your order. Quick update on my upcoming free course. I'm almost done. As usual, this project ended up being much bigger than anticipated. My initial goal was a two or three hour course and final result is closer to 10. The good news is that it's extremely detailed, covering tons of topics that will really help you on your own game dev journey. The release date is next Monday, right here on YouTube. I will be needing your help to make sure this massive video does well, so when the video comes out, go ahead, click on it and hit the like button. I really hope you will find this massive free course very helpful. And also if you need some discounted assets, there's a Unity Mega Bundle right now with up to 94% off. And there's also a Build Your Own Bundle on the Sinti Store. Alright, so starting off with a really gorgeous Japanese village. This one has some really gorgeous looking assets. The video really makes it look more than perfect. I just finished watching Chainsaw Man the other day and this would definitely fit there. It's all based on modular pieces so you can build your own Japanese village. Then for a bunch of VFX, here is a nice casual pack. In total, 126 effects. So you've got lots of area effects, a bunch of fire, fog, loot, projectiles, regen and a bunch more. Next here are some high-end cliffs. These look like they could be taken straight from Skyrim. If your game has a realistic style and lots of mountains, you can definitely place tons of these around to really populate your world. Or maybe your game is low poly, if so, look at this armor pack. In total, almost 600 modular armor parts. This one is an expansion which works with either the paid base pack or the free base pack. It's all in a really nice style, I quite like the assets from this publisher. Then if your game is sci-fi and you need some backgrounds, look at this one. Features some super high-res textures, all of them in 8K. It includes a shader so you can play around with some nice atmosphere effects. For something quite a lot more jolly, here is a gorgeous puppy. It's a German Shepherd, looks about 4 months old, really cute, really nice model with 75 animations, and it also includes accessories like collars, footballs, and a bunch of toys. Maybe you're working on a car game, if so, look at this paint shader. You can easily add some rain effects, add some snow and some dirt, you can add some particle nas and a bunch of decals, there is an AGRP version and a URP version. Then if you're working on a survival game and you need tons of props, look at this mega kit. I'm using a similar kit from this same publisher in my own game, Total War Liberation. By the way, add it to your wishlist if you haven't already. This one includes 350 models, so everything from weapons to some tents, a bunch of tools, backpacks, vehicles, and a bunch more. Next here is an interesting scene. It's a big room with a huge globe, some nice windows, and a chair. The first thing that comes to mind is this would be a great location for some kind of final boss fight, maybe in a game inspired by either 007 or Austin Powers. Definitely a bit of a strange asset, but it does look great. Next if you need a bunch of weird fantasy monsters, check this one out. It includes 8 unique monsters, all of them pretty strange. You've got a spider lady there's some weird scorpion beetle, there's a centaur warrior, and a bunch more. For some low poly, check out this interior and food bundle. These are very simple assets, but this pack has a massive amount of them. I can see this one being perfect for either some kind of game, kind of like The Sims, or maybe something like a kitchen game, possibly in VR. Then for a really fun effect that players always love, here is a liquid container. This one is a shader effect, so it's all pre-performant. You have nine unique container models and different visuals for the liquids inside. Everyone went crazy when this was first used in Half-Life Alex, so now you can easily add it to your own games. Or maybe you just want a really high-end intimidating character, check out this that night. It's definitely a gorgeous model, includes a whole bunch of variations, the ice one looks very much like the Lich King, there's a bunch of modular pieces and you can easily change the color for any of these parts. Next if you need tons and tons of icons, check out this survival mega pack. I definitely could have used a pack like this 10 years ago when I was working on my game Survivor Squad. These icons, all of them look really gorgeous, it includes a thousand icons which comes at about just 6 cents per icon. For a fun low poly character, check out this trend. It's a really nice model, looks quite intimidating but also really Really nice. This one is made by Infinity PBR, so as usual there's tons and tons of sliders to do all kinds of mesh morphing and also includes a whole bunch of animations. Maybe you want something a bit more realistic or sci-fi, if so here is a Mars rover vehicle. It's got a very realistic style, I quite like the model, really nice design. It includes both the outside as well as a fully model interior. Then for some fun to the characters, check out this pack. Very cute style, all of these characters they're all extremely round. It includes 10 characters, all of them with several animations, so this could be fun to use in some some kind of multiplayer game where each player chooses a different character. This dev also has a free pack with a simple character, so maybe pick that one up first to see if you'll like the style. Next, for another fun effect, here is a hologram of planet Earth. It's exactly what you expect, just a nice fun model with a bunch of glow. And for some textures, here is a pack with a hundred pavements. 
All are tunnelable, they're all seamless, you can use them in URP, but they also include all of the maps necessary for AGRP. Or maybe you want something more stylized, so look at these guns, very unique style. Some of them look quite futuristic, while others look a bit more steampunk, it includes a bunch of guns with multiple variations for each gun. Alright, so those are my top 20 new visual assets on the Unity Asset Store for January 23. There's links all in the description, and as a bonus you can use the coupon code MONKEY10 to get 10% off your order. Also check out my own free and paid assets on the store. Alright, hope that's useful, check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.